Hi everyone, welcome to the first F3 stream of the season. Here we are back in Bahrain for this new season start. Here with me, Xavier. Welcome, Xavier. Hi everyone. And Happy let's find out who will win this first F3 race, which will be a very competitive one because we have a decent grid with uh, Fry Pepper, the defending champion of uh, the F3 division here in ERO, and we have a few drivers coming from uh, the F2 division as well, such as uh, Petuka uh, and uh, other drivers here in the grid. And uh, I hope uh, the show will be the one we need, <laughs> of course. Um, <laughs> And uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited for this season start because uh, now I am commentating the F3 race, of course, but uh, in uh, a hour and a half time, I will be racing my first F2 race ever with uh, Alfa Romeo and uh, it will be amazing to, you know, uh, have such a Saturday year in ERO with this uh, amazing community, of course. And uh, so, uh, Javier, uh, what can you say about this magnificent racing track? Yeah, it's fantastic being here and uh, racing in, in Bahrain. Uh, first race of the season. Season 6 starts even for F3. Yeah, as you said, there's a competitive grid, really competitive drivers, even from F2 from last season. Uh, as regards the track, it's kind of a technical one, so the best drivers will for sure uh, make a good race and uh, score good points. Uh, hopefully, uh, we will see a beautiful race uh, full of battles uh, and uh, competition. What, what do you think? What's your prediction about the race? Oh, uh, I don't know. This grid is really, really competitive. Uh, I think we'll see uh, two safety cars. So uh, Bern Mylander will have uh, some work to do today, uh, as we saw even in the lower divisions yesterday. And uh, uh, I um, can see, I can almost see uh, Fry Pepper uh, being in the top five today. Uh, the defending champion is on fire and uh, I hope he uh, won't disappoint us. Uh, and of course, Petuka uh, wants to win today because uh, he got relegated from F2 because uh, he uses the automatic gearbox, if I'm not going wrong. And uh, yeah. he wants to confirm the reasons why he is here to win this F3 title, of course, and the, and the season and the session as well will start in a few seconds. Of course, uh, we <laughs> won't have uh, any doubts about weather today because uh, it, uh, it has never rained in Bahrain, uh, even though rain is contained in the name of this country, in this very little country, the third littlest country in Asia, if I'm not wrong. Uh, but one of the uh, richest ones and uh, one of the hosts of uh, the uh, Formula One World Championship, of course. Uh, and as a Ferrari fan, uh, I have to remember about 2010 double with Fernando Alonso and Felipe Massa. <laughs> Forza Ferrari! Forza Ferrari! Always. <laughs> or, sorry, I should say Forza Alfa Romeo this year, but... Uh, anyway, anyway, <laughs> okay, of course, it's not raining, um, and, well, uh, there's only 14 drivers, even though this is one of the easiest divisions about, uh, you know, uh, assists, because we, uh, uh, our F3 drivers, sorry, can also use ABS, Gearbox, and the line assist as well. And ABS is a very important one here in Bahrain. Because uh, we can tell because we can't use ABS, of course. Uh, this track is a madness without ABS. But the first driver to begin 
his outlap is Secret Hot Dog, one of the most experienced drivers in this division. Let's see if he can score uh, a good qualifying time today. Yeah, you he said correctly. Secret Hot Dog is from F2. Uh, if I remember correctly, and uh, he's one of the most fast guys, in my opinion, in the grid. So we should uh, look look out for him. He's f certainly uh, one one of the uh, fastest drivers in the grid today. So we should really uh, follow his luck now. Yeah, of course, of course. And I can see many drivers putting their uh, medium compounds on uh, because maybe uh, they want to do a triple ladder or they just want to secure they have one more soft compound during the race. And considering uh, safety cars and virtual safety cars uh, are really, really a common thing in this game, they might be right, especially with a uh, late safety car coming out. By the way, uh, Secret Hot Dog is beginning his first flying lap, so let's jump on his homeboard. And here we are, the first qualifying session in Bahrain begins, finally, after three months time. It seems to be an okay lap in these first three corners for Secret Hot Dog, of course. Yeah, the car is really balanced, as we can yeah. see, is uh, using all the track. And now uh, 27.6 is kind of a good first sector. Now let's see his interval, his interval in the second sector, one of the most technical sectors in the in the calendar, in my opinion. Turn 9 and turn 10 are really difficult. Turn 10, in my opinion, is one of the most difficult uh, turns in the, in, the, in the championship. But it seems like Secret Hot Dog is making good so far. So let's see the interval in the second sector now. So he is flat out through this corner, uh, 1, 4.4. 4. Yeah, it seems kind of kind of a solid lap. Yeah, of course. And now he is approaching the last corner of this track. Let's see what his time will be. He is also activating the RS and crosses the line with a 125.6. A decent time to start out this session uh, and Whoa. Con is up there with a 1 minute 24.9 this might almost be the pole position lap in my opinion because yeah, it's just really stunning wow. it's Already. just stunning uh, Already. Yeah. here we have uh, uh, an Aston Martin almost crossing the line with Golzik from Poland with a 126.5, a decent one considering he's on the medium compound. Uh, we have yeah. Banks uh, coming through the last corner with uh, not really competitive time, but still better than nothing, 126.7. Watch out, Fryer Pepper spun in second sector while Petuka invalidated his lap. So, I. They, they should uh, uh, go for another run. Yeah, of course. Uh, we have Davy crossing the line now with a 125.1. <laughs> we are seeing some really good lap times. Even though we have to consider these drivers can use ABS. We can't <laughs> because uh, I'm in F2 division. Uh, Javier is in F1. But still, great lap times. And Petuka yeah, we, is we... now starting his first qualifying lap, considering his previous one was voided by the stewards. Yeah, we should uh, take in consideration the ABS, because it's kind of a really OP uh, assist in this track. It's kind of easy to lock up, so ABS is really helpful and uh, your times really benefits. Yeah, uh, that's true, uh, especially on this track, 
uh, ABS is just an OP assist. Uh, maybe the first uh, 20 times in time trial uh, are made with ABS. I'm not very sure about that, but the first elite lap time was uh, among the 20 or 30th uh, lap time in the standings. I'm not very sure, but I will check it later. Uh, by the way, Petuka uh, is uh, finishing the second sector right now. Is full throttle, smooth on this corner with a 1, 3.9. Mm, maybe he could be even faster, in my opinion, but let's see what he can this do in really the final sector. Luck. Yeah, maybe I have a lot of expectations from Petuka because, of course, he's one of the most experienced drivers yeah, on this grid with a 1, 25.0. And McLaren is securing right now the first row of the grid with two drivers coming from F2, of course. Yeah, McLaren seems to be very competitive. P1 and P2. Front row is completely McLaren, so yeah, we should look out for these drivers. Yeah, sure, of course. Uh, we have a fry pepper in his or sorry in his in lap right now but shark is beginning a new flying lap of course on this track right now and here we go with the mercedes driver Ooh, he's risking a lot here and his lap is void so he has to, of course, have a new attempt. And Vapor Shadow has now crossed the line and he is starting his flying lap in Bahrain. Yeah, yeah we should consider track limits. It's kind of easy to invalidate your lap, in particular in qualifying session. So uh, as happened with Shark here, uh, it went too wide in turn two and turn three and invalidated his lap drivers. Uh, must be aware of truck limits. Yeah, that's true. Uh, I mean, uh, in Bahrain, uh, we haven't many issues with uh, truck limits, but in many other tracks in this game, the stewards are pretty much severe. Let's think about uh, Austria, for instance, and its terrifying second sector, uh, or even uh, Abu Dhabi with the second Mexico. and the third sector as well. Mexico, of course, and France as well. Uh, there are many difficult tracks uh, about uh, track limits in this game. And mm, they are terrifying most of the times, especially during qualifying, because you have to do your best during a qualifying session, of course, but <laughs> you just have that constant fear through your vein. And Vapor Shadow crosses the line with a 1 minute 26.6, the best uh, lap time on medium compound. We have Pangri, uh, which is crossing the line, but I can't see his lap time now. Okay, uh, sorry. Um, maybe he was just doing the uh, out lap before, but the um, graphics weren't updated. Maybe. I don't know. And uh, hi, Marek. Hi, Masiek. And yeah, uh, there are only 15 drivers right now. Uh, I don't know if more will come uh i hope so because <laughs> of the show we are airing live but still better than nothing and maybe we can have less safety cars so even more action i don't know <laughs> let's find out Now, Pangri is approaching this fast corner and is ending the second sector with a 1, 
minutes, 5 seconds, 0.6. Yeah, in the meantime, Cones spun in his flying lap. Oh! It was, uh, it was not improving, but it spun in the second sector. Kind of a shame for him. Yeah, of course. But still, is uh, the best driver in this qualifying session, and Pangri only with a 127.2. The slowest driver right now, excluding of course Racing News and Redo, but on soft tires. Maybe he committed a few errors during his lap. Racing News is cross. Oh, he enters the pits. He enters the pits. That's a really interesting choice, in my opinion. I know he's sure about getting. Uh, competitive lap time at the end of the session, but still, I don't know. Oh, and Fry your pepper spun again. Oh. Exit of turn two. Exit of turn three, I guess. Yeah, first sector. It was on his flyer. So, and... yeah, kind of a difficult session mm. so far for him, but yeah. he's still uh, P5. Uh, maybe he can get a good lap uh, in his last uh, last flying lap. Yeah, of course. While Redo uh, has just crossed the line with a uh, one minute twenty five seconds point two, mm, it's a competitive lap time considering uh, last year was uh, one of the most improved drivers among the entire season. Uh, I can compare his growth curve with um uh oh in the meanwhile oh, petuka petuka <laughs> with a one minute 24.9 is securing the pole position right now in front of his teammate just 19 and thousand ahead of his is improving but his lap invalidated. just got yeah. invalidated <laughs> i'm sorry for he cons said. I'm, I'm sorry for Connors, of course, uh, but the <laughs> old 1 minute 24.9 is a great lap time and Secret Hot Dog is entering the pits maybe, because yeah. he has a very high lap time right now, also Redo does the same, and JJ Dog with a new flying lap on mediums, so he won't start on Soft tires. That's an interesting choice. Because, of course, starting with the medium compound means you can just do a single stop while other drivers might be forced to do a second stopper as well. Yeah, strategy in this truck is uh, uh, kind of crucial because starting with mediums is really powerful. You can choose uh, um, two different compounds, uh, softs or arts, and yeah, it's, in my opinion, the most uh, interesting strategy, the most powerful strategy, but yeah, uh, it's really difficult to get a good lap with mediums in qualifying, so we should, um, we should see which lap time JJ Doc will set. No, he's invalidated. <laughs> Okay, uh, I'm sorry for our drivers today. <laughs> uh, sorry. Okay. But still, we have uh, Vapor's Shadow improving nine tenths of a second in the second sector. It will be an amazing lap time, in my opinion. Maybe between Rado and Shark for the seventh place, I don't know. But he's entering no. the pits again! He won't have any time to make a new lap. Maybe he's hoping Banks, Masiek and Paul Jones are improving to get an 11th place on the grid and new fresh tires. Yeah, maybe he wasn't satisfied with his lap. Anyways, Vapor Shadow did his 26.6 uh, with mediums, so... Uh, he can also hope to stay in the top 10, he can uh, start with mediums anyways. Yeah, of course. And Goldzik crosses the line with a 1 minute 25 seconds point two for the 6th place on the grid. 
And we also have Paul Jones Jr. Uh, on his lap. Uh, he was also uh, a Mercedes F3 driver in the last season with number 69. It's curious to see if he kept his number for this season. Uh, well, I can't properly see it, but still, <laughs> he again secured the seat in the black team. He's now opening his DRS and crossing the line with a 1 minute 25.9, 8 place on the grid, just in front of his teammate, who is just doing another flying lap. And we yeah, have bounced. Yeah? Connes, uh, Connes started his uh, lap. Okay. Yeah, of course. He is one of the pole posi position pretenders. So let's find out if he can improve his lap time. And the answer may be yes, because he cut out one tenth of a second in the first sector. So it might be pole position, but I know Petuka <laughs> won't agree with this statement. Yeah, Petuka seems to be improving. Let's see his interval. Yeah, he's improving seven thousandths of a second in his lap. So it will be kind of close between the two McLarens. Yeah, of course. Uh, they are already very close and Kone's Alpo there improves of improves by three tenths of a second in the second sector. So it might be at 24.5 with some luck. Let's find out in a few seconds. He opens his DRS now and he crosses the line with a 1 minute 24.7 wow. two, four, four. The pole position of this first F3 race of the season. In the meanwhile... Well, Petuka retired. Yeah, Petuka yeah. retired. Uh, Davy is still in the second sector. He's improving uh, by one tenth of a second in the first sector is now making his way through the fast corners of the second sector and oh, he improved by yeah two tenths of a second which is good let's see considering he can, he take can P2. make yeah he can take p2 with some luck of course and some skill yeah, of course, Whoa. but it's P1! <laughs> oh, wow. I didn't expect this. 1 minute, 24.6. Oh, and just took P3, wow. Okay, this was kind of unexpected, but yeah, David gets pull. Incredible JJ Dog gets 9th uh, place, and the other Williams driver gets 10th place on the grid. And... The qualifying session, this beautiful, I would say, qualifying session is now over. Oh, sorry, 11th place for Shadow, not 10th place. This means he can start on fresh tires, so better for him. <laughs> By the way, um, uh, what are your considerations about this uh, qualifying session? Yeah, I didn't expect Davy to be this fast. He scored a really good uh, um, uh, third sector time. He set a good third sector time, which secured him the, um, the pole position. But yeah, I think Cones and Petuka will be uh, the fastest in the race because they have a really good pace uh, in, in in the race and they're really consistent. So I don't think McLaren's uh, will uh, stay behind the Williams. Yeah, uh, I mean, uh, that's probably what is going to happen, but still, we don't know yet. Uh, of course, we are in a very competitive grid, even though there are only 15 drivers today, but still. Wow, what a grid, I would say. And now, I'm just thinking of the drivers who didn't want to put their lap 
on the uh, soft tires because of the uh, true soft strategy, of course, they would be forced that. And uh, I think uh, the driver who will have the best growth during the race will have will start the race with the medium compound. Yeah, it's only five drivers with the medium compounds from P11 to P15. All the guys with uh, the medium tires, while in the top 10, uh, they all have softs. They have to uh, because they qualified on, on these tires. But yeah, uh, as you said, mediums are really overpowered in this track, so we should look out for uh, Vapor or Paul Jones because mm, they will be kind of fast. Yeah, of course, uh, and uh, I'm just taking a few time uh, to uh, see some of the questions on the chat. Uh, so uh, Shadow said he forgot to put his setup on his car, so he's racing on uh, the default setup, I assume. So mm, that's pretty interesting uh, in some way, uh, even though he was really unfortunate and uh, I'm also answering to Masiek so uh, I uh, sorry to um, Otapa maybe <laughs> I'm just terrible at remembering nicknames um, by the way uh, yeah I'm of course uh, looking forward to um, my first uh, F2 race ever uh, I'm a bit you know anxious but um, I think I will be really satisfied when I will cross the line, I hope. <laughs> because uh, the F2 grid is a very competitive one and being part of this um, competitive grid uh, amuses me. So let's find out what I can do. Maybe not worse than a 15th place, I hope, but let's see. In the meanwhile, the drivers are completing their installation lap. So... Let's wait for the drivers to put on their spots for the start of the race. Turn and 1 will be crucial. Find. Yeah, of course. Uh, I mean, Kone's Alpo there with a great start might overtake Davy, But let's see. Because, of course, Konez Alpoder is on the inner side of the track. And in the meanwhile, the lights are on. And not now. That's the race start for Bahrain. With a great start from Konez Alpoder, actually. But even better from Petuka. That's three wide. Oh, oh I don't know how. They managed to keep it clean, but Fry Pepper is now looking to overtake a few other drivers on the Ooh. inside of Petuka. Oh, Petuka actually managed to defend his fourth place, and uh, that was a very regular start. Uh, maybe some of our uh, spectators were looking for more adrenaline to pump up in the first corner, but that wasn't the case and our drivers have been really good at keeping it clean, of course. The race is long and, of course, they didn't want to take any risks at the first corner. In the meanwhile, Banks, I don't know what's happening to him. But he's struggling a lot, considering also Shadow overtook him. Maybe some damage, uh, which I can't see from our images. Maybe he's entering the pits, maybe. And uh, in the meanwhile, Davy and Petuka. Oh, Davy and Petuka, what's happening? Oh, uh, sorry, no, just the just... standings being bugged. Yeah. Okay, okay. Nice game. <laughs> yeah, of course, uh, but still Racing Gales is uh, approaching the overtake on Petuka. 
he doesn't want to try the overtake here. Maybe because he wants to use the DRS to overtake him on the straight, of course. And yeah, Banks uh, entered the pits beforehand. Yeah, he, his car was damaged, of course. But still, this race... Oh, Shadow! Maybe. Yeah, Shadow retired. Turn and nine. no safety car right now. So let's continue this race for now with Davy up front, Conesal Podere and Petuca completing the podium right now. Racing Gauss in fourth place, Fry Pepper in fifth, Golzik, the police driver in sixth, oh, and Shark. Shark also retired, then Virtual Safety Car. DSC. Yeah, uh, Shadow. But I think there's there's a, a glitch with the lobby. Petuka is one lap down. Uh, Petuka is second uh, on my screen. Yeah, but and many drivers are entering the pits. Uh, oh, I don't know. Yeah, he is one lap down, of course. But many drivers are entering the pits right now. Fry Pepper, Conis Alpoder, Goldzi, Credo, and JJ Dog all entered the pits to put medium tires. So they will go for a two-stopper strategy, but they already did their stop. And of course they lost less times than the other drivers, so that was a sneaky move by them. But by the way, Let's keep our attention up front, and it's the physical safety car, not the virtual safety car. That's interesting, I didn't see it before, and, but by the way, that's safety car. So, now, um, I don't know <laughs> why Davy Petuka Racing House and Secret Dog Dog didn't decide to make their stop. Uh, that has maybe no they sense. Want to yeah, maybe they want to do a one stop. At least they think it's the best strategy. It's the only explanation. At the moment, I think it's the best uh, move because a pitted is now of, uh, on fresh mediums and uh, it will be faster. It will just cruise over the others. So let's see how we can manage, and maybe it can overtake Davy with strategy. Yeah, of course. Uh, I mean, uh, I don't think staying on t on the track with uh, used soft tires is the right choice. At least in my opinion, uh, I would have entered the pits. And of course, Racing Gauss is entering the pits. Maybe because they crossed the line before the safety car came out. So they didn't know, maybe. But the virtual safety car was still on, so... Let's see the tires. Oh, hard. Oh, on hard tires. Hard tires yeah. from Racing Gears. This is really risky. Really. Yeah, it is, of course, because uh, I tested it out uh, before the F3 race with uh, Javier, and uh, hard tires are very difficult to hit and uh, above all uh, they don't gri don't give much grip at all so yeah you can go through the end of the race of course but you would lose a lot of time using those uh, this compound in my opinion at least but let's see what uh, racing girls will provide to his alpha tori um, we know Racing Gears is one of the most entertaining drivers in the grid. So, you know, we might see something from him, in my opinion. But still, I don't think this was the best strategy of all. But by the way, let's see. Well, I'm really looking forward for the restart. Um, there are a lot of drivers who can make this race interesting.
Cones, uh, Fry Pepper, uh, but also Davy, Petuka, Secret Hot Dog. I I can't really uh, predict who will be the winner of this of this Grand Prix at the moment. Uh, okay, so uh, Safety Car is entering the pits on this lap. Uh, in the meanwhile, uh, Saza Siar, I don't know uh, who this driver is, um, sorry about that, uh, says that 30 seconds to choose the right strategy are just, aren't just too much. Yeah, uh, I agree on that. And uh, buonasera a Simone, benvenuto in live. Uh, hello Loki, to you as well, and we are restarting this race right now with oh davy waving a little bit not to let petuka taking his slipstream but still secret hot dog tries an overtake on the outside which now becomes the inside of pangri and he makes it through the third place but he hasn't pitted yet let's remember about that and fry pepper fry pepper retired Whoa. in turn four and this is disappointing considering <laughs> he's the defending champion okay uh i was <laughs> i finished the season in second place so that's a little bit of revenge but still <laughs> what a disaster <laughs> from the ass driver watch out for goldzik and jj though they are fighting Okay, and also Redo. Goldzik is taking his slipstream, uh, and the Aston Martin driver is significantly faster than Rado. So, I mean, he will soon get to 8th place. Maybe on the straight. He also has 70% ERS, so. That's nothing to worry right now. Davy with the fastest lap of the, se of the session, uh, 1 minute 29.1. That's still a point he's securing right now. And racing yells. Yeah. Oh, Thinking in the meanwhile, Goldzik. In the meanwhile, I don't know. Uh, I can't check right now because Goldzik and Rado yeah, yeah. are fighting for 8th place. And Rado is is almost uh, nearer to Paul Jones than Goldzik <laughs> is near to Rado right now. By the way, Goldzik oh, he Cones. What a move on was just faster on the second sector and yeah, Cones Alpoder overtakes Masiek for the fifth place. And this might be crucial because Cones Alpoder is even faster. Oh, sorry. Yeah, Cones Alpoder is even faster than Pangri. So he might become, sooner or later, the first driver on the medium compound. Considering Pangri has another important point. Yeah, and Davy uh, uh, created a gap of one second from Petuka. So. Petuka lost his DRS. Now Davy has the opportunity to create a big gap. It's the only chance for him to go away and uh, yeah, win the race. Yeah, uh, I mean, Davy is significantly faster than his opponents. And now Goldzik, with such an aggressive attack on Redo, and they are still side by side. They both got the DRS, so oh, and Goldzik with the move on the inside of Redo, but he also has to look on his teammate JJ Dog who spun. He spun on the second sector. Oh, that's really <laughs> what we didn't want to see. And Cones Alpo there is. Yeah. Yeah, close to Pangri. He's looking for the inside here. And he is in front of him. Nice move from Kones Alpoder here. 
is racing so clean. Now he just has a secret hot dog and then he's a teammate ahead of him. So I think there's a, there will be a battle between Cones and Davy for the win. At the moment they are the fastest. And JJ Dog spun again, I think. Oh, yeah. yeah. He, he spun again and bounced. Isn't far away, isn't that far away from Rado? So, maybe. This might be a Forza Ferrari moment for Banks. But mm, he didn't take the first few corners properly. At least in my opinion, but Rado didn't do his best either. So, maybe in the next DRS zone, Banks might look for the overtake on Rado. Even because he will eventually get his DRS from Goldzik. But let's find out. Rado was faster on the exit and he is still faster than Banks. He didn't decide to use his ERS to try the move. Fair enough. Cones is really Oh and Banks just on the back of Rado and he might have got the damage. We can't see we can't properly see that Cones is In overtaking view, but... Meanwhile. Oh, they are side by side, but Cones Oppo there is significantly faster. And look at Pangri! Ooh, he almost tried the move as well. Oh, he was almost losing the back of his car. Oh, he has a but chance now, now, yeah, he's looking for the overtake again on the straight and he's fourth place now. Fourth place for the Alfa Romeo driver. And Rado is looking to overtake Paul Jones. But that's not the right moment, in my opinion. And he's getting so much dirty air from the Mercedes driver. And so he has to try to move in the next DRS zone as well. Konis uh, is already behind Kutuka. Wow. <laughs> okay, I think medium tires are significantly faster than soft tires right now. There's yeah, no other explanation. In this lap. Yeah, because the stop uh, is oh, for a single. Some strategy here. Cones uh, gets ahead of Fetuka, who lifts. Yeah. Yeah, maybe he's getting the DRS to defend from Pangri. That's the only mm, reasonable mm, reason to do such a thing. But still, it might be a sneaky strategy to secure Konezaupo there, the win right now. And Masiek and Secret Hot Dog are fighting for fifth place. And Masiek overtakes Secret Hot Dog for fifth place. This means that medium compound is significantly faster than the softer one and Paul Jones Jr. and Redo were side by side in the last few corners and Rado gets ninth place and oh, gold seek retires. Gold seek retires. Virtual safety car. And that's safety car. Again. Again in second sector. Second sector is really difficult. It's one of a um, of, of really technical sector. And uh, yeah, some drivers are doing mistakes there. A lot of drivers. And that's the result of it. Yes, the second sector is very, very technical. One of the most difficult sectors in the entire championship, in my opinion, because we have some fast and consecutive corners which are no. sorry what are you saying yeah yeah now we should we should look at uh, at the front the guys are pitting i think everyone will pit or oh, not cones davy is pitting not cones and petuka is pitting as well 
Pang and Everyone Masiak, is Secret Hot Dog. Holy clones. Everyone is pitting. Apart from Bangst, Konezao Poder. Uh, let's see if JJ Dog is pitting, but I genuinely think so because he's at the bottom of the group right now. Yeah, indeed, he's pitting. Many drivers are putting their uh, hard compounds on, other drivers are putting their medium ones. And JJ Dog with the softs. Why? He's wow. looking to. I don't know. Maybe he's looking to improve his situation as soon as possible. And Racing Yells is putting his hard tires as well. So we have now five drivers on the hardest compound, five drivers on the medium one, and one driver on the softer one. And uh, to be honest, I'm looking forward to what JJ Dog can do. Because, uh, of course, he won't go through the end, but still, he will be significantly faster in the first few laps. I don't know what's, what your opinion is, but still. Yeah, uh, JJ Dog will be for sure the fastest now. Uh, maybe we'll try some overtakes on Radu, Radu or Paul Jones. But I'm still thinking that Cones and Banks uh, did a mistake here. They like, had to pit at least for other mediums or hard tires because now they still have to pit uh, another time and they will be at the back of the grid. So I. I I think they generally did um, a mistake, not fitting. Yeah, they made a, a genuine mistake, in my opinion. Um, anyway, anyway, I think this is changing things a little bit. Ah, uh, JJ Dog is entering the pits again. Oh, now I can see the strategy. I think he's putting the. Oh no, that the was arts. just a mistake. Okay. Yacht tires. Okay, uh, I was thinking about, I was wondering about putting your soft tires to trick the pit stop strategy or the pit stop rule at least and putting medium compounds again. Uh, this would have had some sense, but considering he's already done his uh, fourth pit stop and Mm, considering he's put his hard tires on, uh, then I don't know. This was just an error, in my opinion. Yes, he, he had to um, to put the mediums, uh, in my opinion. I think he did a mistake in the previous lap. He wanted to put the arts, and uh, now he did. So that's it. He, he only lost a position, so it's not a tragedy for him. Yeah, uh, yeah, he lost just a position. Not the worst thing that could happen, but you know, that's still a position. And Racing Yos mm, is not the driver everyone wants to have in front of them. Because. What oh, happened? Paul Jones, what, what happens? Happened? Oh, a mistake oh, from Paul Jones. He spun. And I think, Whoa. yeah, he got damage. He got damage. So yet he has to enter the pits again while the safety car is entering the pits. That's really unfortunate for him. Yeah, that's a shame, but it's really crucial to to drive safely during the safety car. Yeah. And that's kind of a big mistake from him. Okay, so I think Connie's Alpo there will be still a little bit slow in the first meters of the straight. The safety car enters the pits and Connie's Alpo there is pushing his throttle to begin the 13th lap on 29 of this Grand Whoa, Prix of Bahrain. Bahrain and Bangri. Oh, really that was, that was a huge... Damage. That was a huge dive bomb from Pangri and Secret Dot Dog is losing is losing positions. 
Yeah, because Masia and Racing Girls are side by side in front of him. Oh, what and maybe Racing Girls pushed Masia a little bit too wide. Then yeah, I think this. Uh... Oh, and Masia got damage. Masia yeah. got damage from the touch with Racing Girls. Oh, he got penalized, and he got damage. And yes, yeah, such a shame to enter him. pits again. Uh, luckily. He had hard tires, so he can put these mediums. Which is still, you know, better than nothing, as I'm used to say. But still, Petuka is close to Davy, who is also very close to Banks. Uh, we don't have DRS yet. This makes things a little bit more interesting. To watch, of course. Petuka already using his ERS. Davy has significantly less ERS. Banks using his overtake mode to defend himself from Davy, of course. Nothing happens. Luckily. Oh! Econ is up! Oh, that's fun! Oh, this is... wow. Con is up with their spawn. That's a huge plot twist in the race. Yeah. <laughs> I said that nothing had happened, but something happened. Something really important for this race. And now Banks with 11, 11 laps old mediums is leading the group. But not for long, in my opinion, because Davy will be very, very faster. And he, of course, I don't think he will make it through the end because his tires are 11 laps old already and uh, he has to make 15 laps from now on. <laughs> and no, defending again, sure. that hard from Davy. I think won't be that nice for his Whoa. tires and the little They're touch. So close. Yeah, between Petuka and Davy, but nothing happened. Luckily, and Davy trying the move on the inside of Banks. Oh no! And is, is Petuka. It gonna be three wide? Oh, Petuka taking Banks in this uh, slipstream for too long, maybe. And Davy tries the move on the inside, and he's through. He's leading the race right now, and Petuka takes the outside of Banks, and he's on. He's in second place. Maybe Banks had to go to the pits to put his fresh tires on. Defending third place like that is just impossible for <laughs> fourteen others. Fourteen other laps. And Paul Jones is near Masiak for 10th place. That's still important because 10th tenth place, tenth place means one point. Yeah, Masiak has soft tires. So maybe it will also uh, set the fastest lap of the race at the moment. So yeah. it will be kind of difficult for Paul Jones to stay behind Masiak. Yeah, of course. Petuka is now taking David's slipstream. Uh, next lap will we will also have yeah, and we have it right now. DRS for Petuka is significantly faster than Davy, and of course he got first place here. But Banks is still in third place. And he still manages somehow to have DRS. Wow. <laughs> I'm uh, amazed by this driver, by the way. Yeah, he's racing really good. And he's in a Ferrari. So I think uh, he will be the driver of the day at the end of the race. So. Well, if he manages win. to keep. He's third place like that. <laughs> he surely will. He surely will. 
But this time he won't have DRS. And so Pangri can try the move on the inside, but not now, at least. Maybe on the straight at the start of the 17th lap. Uh, Pangri also has 70% ERS, so he can genuinely take the move. Tom Banks, who moves on the inside, but yeah, he, he can't he... cover it very well, and Pangri gets third place. That's a huge comeback from Pangri because oh and Banks and Rado are fighting for fourth place and Rado spawn maybe maybe after a contact with Banks himself and is now eighth. And now we have a very tense battle between Pangri Banks and Secret Dog Dog may be racing use as well for third place. And Banks, of course, is trying to defend fourth place rather than attacking Pangri, of course, who is faster than him, but still being in that one second window from the driver in front means having DRS. Banks is looking to that. In my opinion. Yeah, it's also more stressful for the tires, so it's not that good for him. Because the tire wear gets higher when you're following another another car in front of you. But yeah, I, I think he will pit. It's just the most uh, uh, clever choice uh, at this point. Yeah. So nothing happens right now. Even though Racing News is a little bit faster than Secret Hot Dog, and that's strange, considering the um, gap between hard and medium tires, but still interesting. Secret Hot Dog doesn't want to try the move on Banks, even though he has to try the move, because Racing News is faster than him, and so putting a slower driver between him and uh, Racing Use would be the wisest choice at the moment because Racing Use would lose some time. In the meanwhile, Rado gets oh, a 3 seconds time penalty here. Racing Use doesn't take that corner properly. And. In the meanwhile, Davy is just five tenths away from Petuka with a hard compound. Yeah, the RS is really helping him because yeah. it, it, uh, it helps him to stay behind such a fast driver as Petuka. In this moment, Petuka is the fastest, but Davy manages to stay behind thanks to the DRS. So that's why there's still there's still a chance for Davy for the win. Yeah, of course. And uh Konezalpo there goes to the pits. Maybe he's putting his soft tires soft. on. Yes. He goes to the softs. But he will rejoin the track in ninth place. And yeah, that's a shame, so I mean, for him. yeah, uh, that's a shame uh, for him because he's one of the fastest among this F3 grid, but he's not managing to level up his position, even thanks to his previous spawn, but still something to think about right now now we have 10 laps to go and still a lot of things to see 
in this uh, F3 barring Grand Prix and Box Banks goes Banks to the pits. Oh. oh, I was hoping, I was hoping he's, he would stay on track, but that's not the case. But this means Racing Hughes and Secret Hot Dog will fight for fourth place and Pangri doesn't have a slow driver anymore between Secret Hot Dog and him. And this means that Secret Hot Dog and Racing Hughes will try to, you know, battle for third place as well. Yeah, there will be a battle for third place between these three drivers, which are, who are doing really great today. Pangri in particular. Yeah, I mean, Pangri <laughs> is driving surprisingly well. I think, I think, he's the driver of the day if he manages to finish on the podium. Because, you know, <laughs> that's, a, that's a huge comeback from him. Considering yeah, he, he leveled up 12 positions <laughs> just with his strategy. So, oh, that's really awesome from the Alfa Romeo driver. But Secret Dot Dog has now gained DRS. And this means he might keep his pace up to overtake Pangri in a few laps. And Kone's Alpo there sets the fastest lap of the race, 1 minute 27.3. <laughs> That's almost a qualifying lap. But still, is in the best compound, <laughs> considering he's on fresh soft tires but now secret hot dog is significantly faster than pangri or he's been significantly faster at least but still he might try the move in a few corners yeah we'll try the move in the next straight uh, in the very meanwhile, Banks is close to JJ Dog, and considering the gap between a new soft tire and a used hard tire, oh, there's been a little bit of contact between the two, but still, Banks is seventh place now. But let's go back to Secret Hot Dog. He doesn't use his overtake mode, neither racing as does, but Still, Racing News has 21% TRS, Secret Hot Dog 36, and Pangri 48. <laughs> this means Pangri can defend his position a little bit longer than everyone thinks. Yeah, talking about TRS, we should see Petuka and Davy. Oh, Racing News made have... a little bit of mistake. He lost we should maybe see a the 10. difference. The, the ERS difference between Petuka and Davy, we can say Davy is saving ERS maybe for a, a one shot overtake on Petuka on the last laps, maybe. And uh, yeah, Petuka can't defend with only 19% of ERS at the yeah, moment. Yeah, of course. And Petuka only has 16%. This means he can't make it through the entire. Uh, first part of the track, maybe, because that's just a few ERS for him. He can't make the straight. Yeah, Davy is not even using his ERS in the main straight, so his strategy, his racecraft is really good at the moment. Oh, and Racing Yos is trying to move on the inside of Secret Hot Dog, but still doesn't manage to gain the fourth, the fourth position. 
Oh, they're very close anyway. They're very close anyway. And Pangri is hoping for the battle to begin. Because Secret Hot Dog is slower than Racing Hills right now. Uh, this means... This means... Using Secret Hot Dog as a way to defend his third position. For this 23rd lap at least. In the meanwhile, uh, let's uh, give a huge shout out to F1 Racing Championship, uh, one of the Italian leagues we faced against in the Omi Racing Championship Cup uh, last May. Uh, ciao Marco and uh, let's uh, focus now on the race, which is now on the... 24th lap, only with 6 laps to go and still <laughs> some huge and tense battles to see even the ones between, even the one between Davy and Petuka because Davy gained 2 tenths of a second in the last lap maybe and this is huge yeah, Petuka is still using a lot of ERS and uh yeah, Davies saving his uh, energy it will be kind of uh, an easy overtake for him in the next few laps. Yeah, uh, but maybe talking about an easy overtake on Petuka is still something difficult to think about. If you know what I mean, but Secret Hot Dog makes a mistake. <laughs> and Racing Hills takes 4th position and now he can claim the 3rd one on Pangri Davy lost a little bit of time from Petuka in the last lap but of course Davy is going for maybe the last 2 laps to try his overtake yeah I genuinely think so because Look at his, uh, his ERS, he's on 77%, while Petuka, Petuka is only zero. on 5%. Yeah. And of course, overtaking Petuka during the last lap means having no room to overtake Davy again. So that might be a sneaky move from the Williams driver, of course. But let's see what he can do. In the meanwhile, Secret Hot Dog is nearer to Racing Use than Racing Use is to Pangri. <laughs> so he can't really go and find an easy overtake on the Alfa Romeo driver, who is making such a race, till now. Let's remember, 12th place gained from the 15th spot to the 3rd one. And Paul Jones Jr. gets 3 seconds time penalty, which means going tied to Masiek, but still Nothing to fight for, for Paul Jones. Uh, I... I... Also say, oh, Petuka! <laughs> Davy overtook Petuka on the straight. With the ERS deployment, of course. Oh, and now I don't know what... Petuka can do to... Try to keep the first place again. Because Davy is way faster than Petuka right now and has way more ERS as well. He only used 10% ERS? Oh, <laughs> that's madness from Davy. I, I don't know how he managed to do such a thing. Well, the only... stay behind Davy and uh, 
yeah, save some ERS and uh, trying to overtake him in the last lap, but it will be so difficult. Davy has a lot of ERS left and he can defend from any attack from the from the Finnish driver. Yeah, of course. Uh, even though, you know, now Petuka is just slower than Davy. Davy also takes the very inside of the straight just not to let Petuka taking his slipstream. <laughs> That's another sneaky move from Davy. The sneakiest driver on this grid, I would say. Considering the amount of times uh, I said that objective and mass expand again. This means Paul Jones Jr. might get to 10th place, but still he's way far behind. In the meanwhile... Yeah, in the meantime... Yeah, Banks, Banks and Cones the, reached yeah. the throttle. Banks is and looking for the, the move on the outside. Then there's the touch and Banks spun. Way too aggressive on this. For the Ferrari driver and... He gets 8th place again. He gets rejected to where he came from. But now Cones Alpo there is close to Rado for 6th place and also Rado has a 3 seconds time penalty so mm, Kones is not obliged to try the move uh, if I were him I just wouldn't try it because uh, he can't get to secret dot dog but he can lose many positions right now so securing a 6th place is not bad at all and Banks gets 3 seconds time penalty uh, so yeah, there's another point on not taking the move on Rado in this moment. So just keep it clean, Connes, and you'll probably get sixth. Oh, I but think still, he tries the move. Anyways. But still, he tries the move, but it's a very safe one from Connes. Oh, he takes the outside. Is attacking and... Pangri. In the meantime. Yeah. Oh, they were side by side. They were side by side, and Racing News has no ERS, by the way. So he might have tried a desperate move on Pangri because maybe he knew he didn't have time to try another one. But still, there is some time. But remember, Pangri has more ERS than Racing News right now. So, defending his position might be a little bit easier. But still, Secret Hot Dog is behind them. So, <laughs> maybe he's hoping for something to happen. Maybe um, also the fact that Racing News is using his ERS in a no DRS zone. And he doesn't have the uh, he, he's sorry, he doesn't have ERS right now. He has zero percent. But Secret Hot Dog didn't manage to do better, he's on five percent. So he can't make the move mm. oh, Racing News, by the way, is very close. He's very close to Pangri. He's desperate looking for this third place. One of them He's just making a stunning performance and someone spun. Oh uh, no, uh, it was just a bug. Um, one of the two is just making something amazing, by the way. Well, I think and the other did one a is great looking. mistake. It was two seconds ahead of Petuka and now Petuka is behind him, so that's why the yellow. Oh flag. no! Oh, and. So Petuka might look for another move. And he has more ERS than Davy. <laughs> so that's a it's flying a ending of the race. Oh, but still, oh, Petuka didn't take this corner properly. And so we can now say it. Davy is the first Grand Prix winner for this F3 season behind him. There's Petuka, 
the McLaren driver. And on third place, an amazing Pangri 00. zero. Fourth place, Racing Use. Fifth place for Secret Dot Dog 98. Conezal Poder is ending his race on in sixth place. Rado in seventh, Banks in eighth place. Now we are just waiting for JJ Dog, Masiek, and Paul Jones Jr. to cross the line and. Oh, oh, oh JJ Dog with. <laughs> A little nice bit of, yeah, uh, a little bit of show here. I think he's not really happy with his race. And uh, Paul Jones Jr. just outside of the points. Well, <laughs> we've just seen a very interesting race, in my opinion. But still, <laughs> can you explain? to yourself what Pangri did do in this Grand Prix <laughs> amazing well incredible performance <laughs> from last place to P3 score the podium it's fantastic it, it is for sure driver of the day yeah he is for sure but uh, by the way, uh, uh, I think it's interviews time because we are 45 minutes ahead of our F2 race. So, interviews. But before yeah. interviews, let's just look at the um, uh, race director. I'm just I'm gonna, scrolling I'm gonna it down. You guys. Okay, perfect. So, let's recap our positions. Davy in first place, Petuka second, Pangri third, Racing Use uh, fourth position for him, Secret Hot Dog fifth, Conez Alpo there, another driver from F2 in sixth, Rado seventh, Banks eighth, JG Dog ninth, Masiak tenth, Paul Jones Jr. eleven and uh, Goldstick, Fry Pepper, Shark and Vapor Shadow the retired drivers. So, uh, uh, for Davy Petuka and Pangri, make sure you have shared your voice uh, with uh, the party, because otherwise we wouldn't hear you. Okay, I think we can't invite Pangri, because uh, he hasn't allowed the invitation. Oh no. So... Uh... That's a shame. Yeah, that's that's really a shame. Because I would have had many questions to him. <laughs> like, <laughs> how did he manage to do such a thing? Oh, and Davy as well. I can't invite yeah. him. Yeah, mm, yeah, <laughs> we've seen such an incredible race, such an incredible race that it's much um, impossible to track all the moves from all the drivers. It's been <laughs> just something unique, in my opinion, for being the first race of the season. And I'm, <laughs> I'm sure there will be many emotions to come in the next rounds of this F3 season and I'm also looking forward to our F2 season uh, as well uh, but um, by the way um, I don't know if our audience knows about that but uh, for season 6 uh, we had a huge prune on uh, the assists driver drivers can use in the single divisions, for instance, in F1, uh, our drivers can't use any assists. Uh, in F2, line only. In F3, uh, ABS, gearbox, and uh, line, uh, and traction control as well, I think. As well as in F4, F5, and F6 are almost free to um, everyone. 
so I would ask you, because you are an F1 driver, uh, how does the uh, line assist help you, or helped you, I should say, uh, making your races? Well, it's not that difficult to deal with the line, because uh, you really need to be much more consistent, and it's much more difficult driving with the line. Uh, without the line, but yeah, it also helps me to understand uh, better the track, the limits of the track, and where to break. Uh, your braking really benefits when you 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 put your line off. So that's basically it. I I really become much more consistent when I uh, put my line off. And that's and uh, I'm really proud of this because it's so satisfying and uh, funnier too. Yeah, of course. Uh, by the way, I don't think any of the podium drivers are reaching us for the interviews. So I think that's it for today, F3 fans. Uh, let's remind uh, about our F2 appointment in 45 minutes time at uh, 6 o'clock UK time and uh, tomorrow in the evening we also have our F1 race which is at what time? Let's see if you are prepared. 6 p.m. UK. Perfect, perfect. So I think that's it for today. So bye everyone and see us on the track in 45 minutes. <laughs> bye guys.